That's a tough question. I don't know. I think I heard a story that... Was it the board member? No, the head of the board. Was it the Klockner CEO or was it like the... It was the CEO, right? Back in the day, the, the warehouse people had a, had a little dog pad. It was, a, it was a Rottweiler. We all know how, how many qualities, positive qualities a dog has. I think of almost like an extension of your family. They adopted the Rottweiler and it became part of their, their family. Dogs are dependable. The dog is loyal. They're always there for you. I think of Klockner as like a best friend to our customers. The dog is blue. I'm not sure why that's the case. I think he has a red nose, so maybe he's not a dog at all. I had heard a rumor uh, that it was due to somebody on the board's dog passing away. So, you know, in memory of the dog, which they named Steel, we uh, decided to use a dog as her logo. But I don't really actually know the full story. So, basically, the true Klockner dog story is in 1996. When Klockner was kind of merging all these other smaller companies. We were looking for just one company logo that could potentially unify all the different mergers or the different companies that we had. We needed one branding, one umbrella to put everybody under. We went to an ad agency. They wanted to incorporate a secondary logo. The chairman of the board, his dog had recently passed away. The dog was chosen as our logo. It does represent at the core what Klockner Metals is all about. Ears pointing up. To um, be attentive to the customer's demands, their wants, the eyes to look forward. The commitment um, will always be there. We're a trusted companion. The nose to sniff out opportunities. It's uh, quick. The ball in the mouth is to symbolize fetching customers and being loyal and dedicated. And then of course the legs for the um, rapid response to our customers. That's what it yeah. was. That's so cool. So I got it right. I was right, yeah. almost. almost. <laughs>